Hi, welcome back to the Photoshop Training Channel.com. I'm Jesus Ramirez. In this 90 second Photoshop tip, I'm going to show you how to create skin texture from scratch in Photoshop. A custom skin texture will help you bring back some of the skin texture details that you may have lost through retouching or the lighting in the portrait. We will use a non-destructive technique that gives you a whole lot of flexibility to edit your adjustments to achieve a seamless transformation between the original skin and your custom made skin texture. We're going to start by creating a new blank layer right above the portrait layer. You can rename the layer skin texture, then go into the edit menu and select fill. From the contents drop down, select 50% gray and press OK. 50% gray is the gray that is right in between white and black. Then right click on the layer and select convert to smart object. A smart object will allow you to apply adjustments, distortions and filters non-destructively, which means that you could come back and edit them at any time. Then go to filter, filter gallery and open the texture folder. Select texturizer and apply the sandstone texture which looks a lot like skin. There are two reasons why I like this filter over the emboss method that you may have seen in other tutorials. The first reason is that you get the option to choose the direction of the lighting which gives you a better match with your photo and it makes the skin texture more realistic. For example, in my image the light is coming from the top left so I'll select that option. The second reason I like this filter is that I can upload a custom texture if the sandstone doesn't work. I can create a texture, save it as a Photoshop document, and load it from this drop down menu. But that will not be necessary in this case. Then you can use the scale and release sliders to control the size and intensity of the texture. I'll leave the current settings for now and I'll adjust them later. I'll just press OK. I'll then blend the skin texture layer with the layer below by selecting either the overlay or soft light blending mode. Either of these blending modes hide 50% gray and we're left only with the highlights and shadows that the filter created, making it seem like skin texture. I'll select soft light since it gives me a more subtle effect. Next, I'll double click on the smart filter label and edit my skin texture to match the portrait. I'll adjust the scale to 140 and set the relief to 7. Of course, the settings in your image will be different, so just adjust them accordingly. Then I can hold the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on the Mac and click on the layer mask icon to make a mask that hides the entire layer. I can now select the brush tool, set my foreground color to white, reduce the opacity and flow both to 20% and I'll paint in the skin texture wherever I need it. Notice that with a low opacity and flow I'm slowly building up the texture in the skin making it more realistic. Click on that like button now if you enjoyed today's Photoshop tip and don't forget to click on that subscribe and notification buttons so that you don't miss any other Photoshop tutorials. Also, check out my tutorial on enhancing textures in Photoshop. I'll place a link down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching.